Hello, thank you for joining Paper Crafting with Tracy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Christmas card here. And it is using the Leaves of Holly stamp set and coordinating dies. And I've also used the uh, Fern 3D embossing folder as well. The colors I used um, was some gold. And then in the background here is some soft succulent. The leaves and the matting is evening evergreen and then basic white so to get started i've already pre-cut out my dies here okay so we've got all of these and they all come out of the the die set and i just got to pop out the centers of these some of the the leaves are a tiny bit finicky at times uh, on all of these so you do need one of the brushes that come with the uh, take your pick tool okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this backing to these leaves and it's just so they stand out like like so and the reason I'm going to do that first is because I just want them to dry a little bit before I start adhering so all I did and actually, even before I do that, the only stamping I have to do is here on the label. And the reason I do that first is I don't want this label to have an uneven surface for when I go to stamp. So I'm going to do this one as Season's Greetings, which is also in that stamp set. There's Christmas Wishes and Season's Greetings. Now you just have to be careful when you go to stamp this one because the frame is kind of separate. And you just want to make sure you line up with the inner frame, not this outer one, because this one moves and you can end up um, a bit crooked. There we go. So that was just evening evergreen that I used for that. And now I'm going to ink, and you don't have to ink a lot, uh, just a bit of this back here because it doesn't meet it fully, there is a little bit of an edge. And then I find it easier to line these up. I'll just lay it down with this bottom edge first. If you kind of line up the points and then the rest of it just lays down. And you can see what I mean of how there's a bit of a white frame around. Now I'm just going to put that aside for a moment and then I'm also going to do my holly berries and all I did was take uh, there's this this piece here in the dies and it sits on top of the holly berries just to give it some shine so we'll put a little bit of glue on that using our multi-purpose glue and, and I don't go full-on heavy with the glue uh, this glue works pretty good I just don't want it to ooze out everywhere. Just like so. And I'll set that aside to dry. Now it's just assembly. So I'll take my piece of cardstock, basic white cardstock that I've embossed with the fern um, embossing folder. And we'll just assemble everything. Stick that on my matting of the evening evergreen and I'll stick that on my card base which is again just basic white thick cardstock okay now, with these leaves, I'm going to start with the small one first. And again, put a little bit of glue on. Just on the outer edges, I don't do all these. You could also, to make it easier, um, use the adhesive sheets. And then they would al this would already be sticky before you stuck it on. And I started the point at about midway down the side, and then just angled it in. Take the larger one, we're just gonna do the same thing. The stems are all gonna be hidden underneath the sentiment label. Okay, 
so I just kind of match up the stems but you want to make sure that the top is still on the card just like so then I'm going to have um, there's a piece once I find where I put it oh there it is of this gold and it's just one of the little twigs that comes with it and I just stuck that in the center just like so Oops. there we go now this should be somewhat dry so I'm just going to take some dimensionals stick it on I did this card for a swap at on stage this year uh, so I made a lot of these and they went together pretty quick um, the only thing that was finicky was of course all of these needing to be brushed out so note to myself maybe not do something that has so many die cuts <laughs> okay, and again line up the edge not the little frame and now we'll add our holly berries and I just stuck that there on the corner move that up just a tiny bit okay and then the final thing I added was I've got these red and green adhesive back um, pearls and it comes in four different colors and so I will just take some and get my take pick tool and we'll just pop some of those off and I'll take a gold Oops. Just like so. If you don't have one of these take your pick tools, they are wonderful. They've got this end here that's got some putty on it, right there, um, that you can use for um, some finicky items that you stick on and it attaches. And then it's got this little spatula tool, uh, but it also comes with a tip you can get for scoring, two different sizes. And then it's also got the brush uh, attachment as well and um, uh, so that you can roll her out your die cuts and then that's it there's our holiday card so I hope you've enjoyed this edition of paper crafting with Tracy please subscribe to our channel and happy stamping